Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a autocorrelation function that we talked about earlier and a closely related concept of partial autocorrelation function. Now, when we talked about uh, correlogram or ACF plots, we were exploring uh, the correlation between uh, yt and uh, a lag value of uh, yt. For example, it could be the first lag or the correlation between yt and uh, the second uh, lag, etc. And we were able to represent all these correlation coefficients. Uh, let's call it R1 and this was R2 and we calculated up to RK which was the correlation between YT and the kth lag. And we represented these correlation coefficients on uh, this uh, correlogram. And just by looking at these correlograms we were able to identify which of uh, these correlation coefficients were statistically significant. Now, a closely related concept uh, to autocorrelation function is uh, partial autocorrelation function. Now, the problem with the autocorrelation function is that when we calculate the correlation between yt and yt minus 2, we know that uh, there is something in between these two values. That is, yt is not only correlated with yt minus 2 directly, but it also has an indirect effect on yt through yt minus 1. We know that yt and yt minus 1 are correlated, and then yt minus 1 and yt minus 2 are correlated. Hence, the correlation between yt and yt minus 2 that we calculate here, denoted by R2, it is total correlation, not the partial autocorrelation. That is, it is not the pure autocorrelation between uh, yt and yt minus 2 because we know that yt is also affecting uh, yt minus 2 through its correlation um, with yt minus 1. To overcome this problem what we do is uh, we remove yt minus 1 from uh, this analysis and calculate uh, the correlation between yt and yt minus 2 by removing the indirect correlation that yt has with yt minus 2 through yt minus 1. So that is why we calculate partial autocorrelation functions between different lags by removing uh, in between uh, correlations. So for example, the correlation between uh, yt and uh, yt minus 2 will be calculated by removing the correlation between yt and yt minus 1. And similarly, we can keep on calculating uh, different correlation coefficients by removing the in between uh, correlations. For example, in this case, we'll be removing the correlation that uh, yt has uh, with yt minus 3 through yt minus 1 and uh, yt minus 2. So we'll completely remove uh, that correlation and uh, calculate the direct correlation that yt has with yt minus 3. So in this case, uh, we'll remove uh, the correlation between this and correlation between yt and yt minus 2. So this way we'll keep on calculating uh, correlations between uh, different lags and we can again represent uh, these correlation coefficients on uh, partial autocorrelation function or PACF and again we'll show these correlation coefficients uh, on this graph. So again the concept is uh, almost identical with the autocorrelation function that is we are calculating correlation between uh, various lags but in the case of partial autocorrelation function we are removing in between uh, correlations and calculating a direct correlation between uh, yt and uh, the kth lag in the case of acf yt and uh, yt minus 2 may be correlated through yt minus 1 but uh, in the case of uh, partial autocorrelation we remove uh, the effect of uh, yt minus 1 and so on so this is the difference between uh, autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function. So in the next video, we'll talk about uh, how to use uh, these two concepts to build our ARIMA models. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.